Hey, what is going on guys? Root of the Null here, coming back at you with another Python tutorial. Let's get idle fired up here, and let's uh, let's create a new program. I'm going to save mine as, um, well, first of all, I'm going to drag it over here, first of all, and I'll save it as file.python. File.python, not file not, file.put. <laughs> file.python, there we go. Let's save it as a USR bin environment. At least get a shebang line started. To create a new class. I'm gonna call mine base. Define a constructor. Self. And then uh right at the end here. We can test if this is the current script. Make sure you have all of your underscores. Create a root object from the base class, and we should be set to go. I'm going to create a uh, list variable here, self.list. Set this up as a. Uh, the values can be this, and then joke. Now, the function that we're going to be taking a look at today is called the insert function. And what it will do is it will uh, insert a value from any position inside your list. So before we take a look at it, I'm going to print out the list that we have here. I'm going to convert this to a string. And uh, add on some new line characters. So we can see what we're working with. We got this joke. And now let's take a look at the, uh, the insert function. We'll do self.list. And we can do insert. And we can do at position 1, we can insert is. And now, this isn't going to return anything or do anything, obviously, because what it's doing is it's modifying the original the original list again, like it did in the append function that we looked at earlier. So if we print out our self.list now, let's take a look at what we have here. This is joke, because we've added it at that first position, before the first position anyway. We have 0, which is this, and then we have joke, which is 1, and it's doing it before 1. So we'll be going right here. This is joke, just like we returned in the output. So uh, let's try and recreate this all on our own, first of all. Let's define a new function here. I'm going to call mine insert. We're going to need self. We're going to need the position. And then we're going to need the value. But before all those, we actually kind of need the array that we're working with. So I'm going to call mine array. And then we can start a code block. So what we're going to do is uh, we can do a lot of interesting things here. We can do array equals array beginning until the position, and then we can add on the index version of value, and then we can add on the rest of it, array position to the end, and then if we return array, we don't even have to return it, we could, we are potentially resetting that one here. So if we do, um, if we go back to our constructor and we do self.insert, if we insert uh, from our list, position 1, if we do is, it's not going to return anything, but if we print out our self.list, just like the original function, it has not done anything. So, unlike the original function, I was mistaken. You know, we can do something else, though. We, if we return that array, let's see what it'll do. This joke is still not going to do anything, but array has been, been reset. If we print out what we've done here, print out self insert here, and we run this, we get this is joke. And if we print out our original one, we get this joke. So what we can do is we can set our self.list to be equal to what our function is returning. And now we can print out self.list. And now we have inserted this is here along with returning the array and we've modified our original list and we've made things a little bit more versatile because now we can return or see what we're doing before we actually make the change so this is kind of a good thing to be able to do and understanding how the function works is simple all we're doing is some slicing here to be able to get up until the current position and adding the value as a list or an array type with the braces and the brackets surrounding it and then we add on up until the end of the array.
so we've made things a little bit easier. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, though. I know this one is a little bit simple, but it's easy to get mixed up in the way that uh, in the way that variables are saved back and forth between functions, especially when you're insorting and appending into an array and uh, or a list and that sort of thing. But uh, I hope you guys can comprehend what we're doing here, and I hope to see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye.